I get it, all you want to do is import a couple photographs or graphics, but they keep importing as a video clip and image sequence. No worries, because today I've got a great quick tip on how to import using the show individual frame setting in DaVinci Resolve 17. So here's a folder of 211 uh, time-lapse photos I took at Zion recently. If I drag that into my project, we can see it remains as a single clip. But what if I want these individual clips or have some graphics? Well, I've got another folder here that are individual art cards. I've got 10 of them. And what if I want to manipulate each of these separately? Let's go back to DaVinci. We're going to go to our graphics folder bin that's empty. We'll go to the individual art cards, which is one that's on the disk. And it's still one clip here. All you need to do, this is the secret to it all. You hit this three dot menu and you say show individual frames. Check that, boom, just like that. Now we, anytime you import anything and no matter how you import it, it's gonna be importing those as individual frames which you can manipulate separately on your timeline. It's as easy as that. Now to change the default duration as these are brought in, it's really simple. All you need to do is go up to your preferences, user preference under editing and then the standard still duration. I like mine set to three seconds. I think the default's five seconds. Three seconds works better for me, so that's what I have it at. I'm gonna hit cancel, and I also wanna show you how you can change the duration once they're on the timeline really quickly. So let's select them all. We'll hit append edit, the speed editor, get them down there quickly. And one thing I wanna point out before I do this is pay attention to if you're in the edit selection mode uh, with the arrow or if you're in trim mode. I like to do this in trim mode. It's gonna tidy up all of the gaps between the clips when you're in trim mode. It's like the magnetic timeline sort of in uh, Final Cut Pro, if you're familiar with that. But if I select them all with Command A and then I hit Command D, now we have the option to set a preset duration or you could type in any duration you want. What if I want these all one second instead? I just hit one second, I hit change and boom. They're all nice and tidy and short. So that's how you import individual still frames in DaVinci Resolve 17. If you learned anything new from this video, please give it a like. That way other people can find it on YouTube. And if you wanna learn more helpful tips on editing video in DaVinci Resolve, click right up here. And since there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video.